One of the really good things about this project is that the students that we have here at the moment, in the future, they are going to be the people who run the farms in the area, the workers on the farms and the people who own the farms and making them aware, giving them the skills now is future proofing in a way because as they become adults, that awareness that they've got, the being proactive with the trapping, that's something that'll just continue and so, you know, the effect that will have across this community is really, really important. I'm Miles Webb, I'm the Deputy Principal at Odoa Primary School in uh, Odoa in South Taranaki. We were part of a Curious Minds project to look at the reintroduction of the possibility of um, Theo into local area and after looking at the issue of predators, our focus for that determined that we couldn't reintroduce Theo until we removed the predators first. And so in terms of the sound lure, we were wanting something that the kids would be able to do here at school that would be hands-on, that would get them proactively involved in either trapping or proactively involved in pest management. The traps are sort of been developed and the traps are out there and a lot of the children live locally who have got traps on their farm and so we're wanting something to complement that. With that project we looked at the uh, cultural aspects, so we had a marae visit, um, we also had um, someone from Iwi every time that we went somewhere and did a visit and so we had that partnership in there which was really, really positive I think. We're given um, a law for possums which was just a beeping and we thought that we could improve on that and we thought maybe we could use it to trap other predators as well. So we came up with the idea for a stoat law. It started off as a theory based project and we realised that the more hands on that it got opened up opportunities for them to be doing things on their farm. It's also been powerful to give them experience with like wiring up circuits and starting to do the testing. This is the SD card that goes inside the MP3 player. The SD card holds all the sounds and then this is the amplifier so it amplifies the sound. This is the pickaxe chip and we code that and basically tell the sound law what we want it to do. And then we've got the speaker as well and we've used a bottle to amplify the sound. The next stage is to supply those units too for people to test them in real situations. We want to test their reliability, we want to get that data in and prove that it works and we want the students to be able to say at the end of this project that we have made an impact on pest numbers and increased the number of pests that are being caught in particular locations as a result of using the sound law.